Hi everybody, I am back with part two of Let's Craft With Me. Right, I just went up the stairs and I shouldn't have done because I'm now at a puff. Right, okay, where are we? Okay, so I had a gorgeous rack arrive this morning and um, decided to get stuck in and use... <laughs> some of it to make a lovely little book so i thought i'd come back and show you the rest of it and see if we can't finish this lovely little booklet off so where have you all gone where are you you've disappeared right let me pull my bits and pieces out hi julie honey right <clears throat> i have found some bits and pieces which I thought would go quite nicely with this little book. So we're going <clears> to <throat> do a little bit more on this. Right, okay, let me put... My best thing to do is put my little bits and pieces to one side that I have so that I know what I am. Because these would make cute little tags. Look, aren't these adorable? <clears throat> <coughs> Hi, Linda May. Hi, Carol. Right, so let's, I'm just going to get stuck in and start doing some things. Oops, we missed that one completely. Right, so we've made a little tag that we can, I didn't do a very good job of it, I must admit. Oh dear, I've messed that one up, but never mind. What you can do, if you make a mess... I can find it. Oh, where are we? Oh, that's not good. Oh, it is my... Oh, I think that's too big, actually. <clears throat> Let me just see if I can... Charles, stop treading all over everything, will you? Right. That's too big. Too big. Charles. Behave, you're being a pain. Right, he is being a pain. Right, what you can do is, I think... Charles, not now. Get a little hole punch and make yourself some little... Oh, dropped it. Make, right, you are sitting on my tablet and it's not going to work. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Go on. Oh, he's jumping everywhere. So, you can make yourself some little ring dividers by simply just cutting a hole and doing that. So, even though I've ripped it, we can fix it. We can fix it. Right, so what we can do then is put these little thingy things over there so i haven't ruined it oh god i've got itchy nose now just picked him up <clears throat> got hairs everywhere charles all right let's put these on here thank you for sharing oops that's no good <clears throat> right put that on there I can pick it up. I keep meaning to find my tweezers, but I don't know where they've gone. Oh, I didn't mute my phone. Right, so we've made a little tag with that one. And we've got some more little bits. Look, there's a lovely little banner piece there that we could do at the top of the page right let's just put all these to one side i really should mute my phone i think hi steph darling right okay what i wanted to do was i wanted to make a little book to go with it and the papers in here are pretty cute so i need to find another one of the pages let me pull my book out here that would be lovely, wouldn't it, for a little book? So let me just pull out a couple of these 
pages. So we've got one of those. We've got one of those. That's the cake ones. Right, they're all the cake pages. Right, okay. So, that is green on green though, which we really want the book to kind of stand out a bit. So, I think what we'll do... That's green. Let's do the little book in with this piece here because I've got a plan kind of for this bit here. So I'm just going to chop that off. Let me bring in my cutting board. Let's just neaten this up. And let's do it. Um, let's do it three let's do four by um, do four by six just to see what it looks like <clears throat> Charles oh my gosh he is wrecking the place it's because I wouldn't let him up on the table so we're just gonna do that Charles can you hear him wreck in the box so the reason I've chose the blue right behave get out of the box I'm so sorry it's because it stands out more on the um the page like that so what I'm going to do is let's do a little book first I've pulled out some scrap papers um so we could just use some coffee dyed paper so what did I do that three by four Charles right three by what was that it was god I can't think because he's it was four by three wasn't it four by three so we need to cut these at <clears throat> I'm gonna go just one under so three and seven eighths by I'm gonna go just under six, one under six, three and seven eighths by one under six, uh, like that. I need to change my blade because my blade is not doing very well. Uh, right, do you know what? I haven't changed these blades since I got it. Oh, she says I can't even get it off. There's one. Right, let's get a new blade out. We always have a spare. Let's put that on there. And that on there. Right, we should be all good to go now. Keep these bits. Don't ever look at I needed to, but it doesn't matter that it's a bit raggedy. We're just going to fold these in half, like so, and like so, and we're just going to just, oh, I think my corner around it needs emptying, oh, it does. Oh no, now I've got corners all over my floor. <laughs> it, didn't, it didn't empty properly. Right, let's put these bits together. And we're just going to pop that in there like that. Get rid of all this messy bit. 
um, I think what we'll do as well is oh, what did I do with my twine? I've got some white twine here, and I know what else I'll do. Oh, I've got a creaky chair now. I'm so sorry about the dinging. Right. What we're going to do is we're just going to cut a bit of that. Needle. Oops. You wrecked my chair. Right, we're just going to take a piece of this and <coughs> get the pokey tool. And all I'm going to do is just eyeball it, actually. Where's the book? Right, let's just eyeball the centre of this. And I'm literally going to just poke a hole there and poke a hole there i'm just going to do two holes i'm not doing the pamphlet stitch because it is only a little booklet and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to hi karen honey um pop that in there just going to bring this in and up like that that in there and I'm just going to tie a knot like so and what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave these dangling like that and just going to chop them off to about there for now. I'm going to get my little heart punch here. And what colour should we do? I kind of like that brown actually. Let's do some little hearts in brown. One, we need four. Two. Three and four. Right, so just need those little hearts there. And what I'm going to do is just literally, I'm going to do two different lengths. So we want one about here and a little bit longer about there. I'm going to stagger the length of them like that and then we're going to get some fabric oh my gosh I'm so sorry about my phone oh it does not want to come out it doesn't want to come out right, I'm just going to oops put a bit of Fabri tack on there. Get your end of your heart like that. And oops, try not to make it move. Get it in the centre. And then, oh, you are kidding me. Didn't want to come, didn't want to play ball. Right. <laughs> We can have a bit of a messy heart here. I'm just going to stick that on there like that and hold it just for a second. And you can always clean it up and get the excess off of it. So there's one little dangly heart. And I'm just going to do the same again. It's very fiddly with these flipping nails. Never mind. Oh, 
would decide to do something rather tricky. It's not really tricky, it's just tricky with my silly flipping nails. Right, so we're just going to hold that together. And then let them dry. So you've got your little booklet with your little hearts. And what we could just do is put a little something on the front of that. Um, let me find my here you go, and that's going to go in the pocket. So we need something to go on the front of that. Let's have a look what we've got here. And you could have, you know, put, I know what we'll do with this one, actually. Oh, now you're going to get me all doing me distressing, which I was resisting distressing. But I don't know if I can. I really don't know if I can resist distressing things. I'm sorry. Right, we're going to put that on the front there. I'm going to find a nice word, sentiment or something. Let me just put that down there. Put those up down there. All right, let's have a look and see what words we've got. Oh, we've got thoughtful. Too big. Oh. Right, I've got some words to my oh my phone, I'm so sorry. Let's have a look what we've got here. Right. Journal. It's not really a journal because it's only a little thing, isn't it? Let's have a look. Aspire. That's quite nice, Aspire. Right, okay, let's put these back. I'm not getting your messages now. Right, we've got Linda May here, we've got Carol, we've got Karen, we've got Steph. Right, so let's have a look what we're going to do here. We're just going to stick this down. And have that on the front there, like that. Hi, Simra. Gonna pop that on the front there, like that. And there's your little booklet all made super easy it's got a couple of little bits and then you could also you know do some little flowers or bits and pieces um on there just trying to see what's left <clears throat> let's have a look what do we have oh look we've got a little flower there look we can pop that out and that one out. We're not wasting anything, you see. And then what you can do is you could do a little flower there, a little flower there if you wanted, or we could just decorate the pages and put like a little flower on the pop, you know, on the pages just to give it a little bit of something. We could stick one there and then we could just pop one down here. And there you go. You just put a couple of little decorative bits on your pages. And of course you can stamp on there if you want to. Um, it's 
cute 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 right now we need to make a pocket for um this little booklet so i think what we're going to do is we are going to do i did have an idea but because i've used the blue i don't think it'll work so i'm going to do one down here so do a pocket down here <clears throat> so what was my measurement of my book so this was five and a half so we need five and a half by two i think let's have a look um that's oh just see if that's big enough now was it five and a half by two yeah it was five and a half so that's not going to be big enough so <clears throat> let's just take that edge off five and a half by two so we can save that bit by two and i also like this little <clears throat> edge here so what i'm going to do we don't want to waste any of this gorgeous um pad at all so what i'm going to do is put that bit in the middle <clears throat> i don't know if you're talking to me because i'm not really getting any message ah here we go i'd love to do some crafting but head has been pounding since i got up this morning and just taken my third lot of painkillers oh i hope it gets better my lovely oh bless you right where were we where were we right so we're gonna <clears throat> put this on the do we want it that way or that way does it really matter right let's i was trying not to um do this but never mind i cannot help myself let's stick this on lost my glue Gonna pop this down the middle like that. I think what I'm gonna do as well is pop some of this trim so that it goes with the rest of it, and I'm gonna put a bit down each side of this. So we want a piece to there. Make sure that is right. And we need another piece, the same length. Right. Because we want to have a nice flow in this book. So we're going to do a... <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm going to run this all the way down here and run this all the way down here, like so, and then I'm going to put that. All the way down. Oh, we didn't cut it long enough. Let to get down a bit because it's curled up here. We can always put another bit of glue uh, down there if we need to. There you go. 
So we've just decorated that pocket. All oh, lovely. I'm going to get my circle punch. Oh, if I can get it. Oh. All right. I'm going to do a little... Oops, I'm sorry I knocked you down. Just take out a little bit. For the pocket. So. Okay, so there's our little pocket done. And all we need to do now is just glue this down inside our little book like so and there we have our little pocket let that dry a minute we've got the little bird hanging out there this little notebook is going to go in here and then also if you bring that down your little hearts will hang outside of your book i just need to cut this off a little bit because there's a little tiny bit of thread hanging out um so you've got the little hearts popping out the bottom hi tracy honey um right let's see what else we can do so we have our little pull out there which is just super cute the front's all done we open it up we've got a little um journaling card there we've got a little notebook here and then if you wanted you could make a little pocket on the back and maybe stick some of these tags in them there's the little tag sort of bits here. Um, so if we did them, um, no, they'd have to go in that way. I love this little bit here, and I'm wondering if I could do something with that actually, because that's super cute. I don't know. Oh, isn't that just lovely though? I love it as it is. Isn't that just super cute? So you've got your, and you could put another journaling card in the back. That's just hidden though, isn't it? We don't want to hide it. Let's put that one, another one coming out there. Like that. Let's just tidy this up. like so and then you've got oh isn't that just adorable i love it and we've still got lots of bits left over that die would work great for the back and the little tags etc the that th die what's the th die honey th die um i want to try and do something on the back but i don't know if i'm Look at that, isn't that just super cute? I love the way these little birds are poking out. And what a lovely little happy mail gift that would make. It's just adorable. TH. <clears throat> the, that TH die would work great for the back and the little tags. I don't know what she's on about. I love that little one now. Uh. So you could put that there. I don't know if you're on about putting that there and then put in your little tags in there like that. Which would work. Is that what you was on about, Cameron? Uh, let's do all... Oh, 
ASMR. What is that one? Do them on here. Me. Right, okay, let's. Oh, Tim Holtz, Carol. I'm so used to using initials when chatting to my friends. Oh. Oh, I thought you was talking to me, Cameron. Flipping heck, I'm sorry. I thought it's because I'm lost, lost in translation here. Put that on there. And then we'll stick this one on here. Like so, and then we could put some little ribbons in there and stick them in there, like that. Let's put this on the back. Put that on there, like that. doesn't want to stick down and then let's find some ribbon of some sort let me find what I've got near me I've got a blue but have we got blue in here we have got blue blue and green should never be seen or so they say One, let's go in the back like that, and then we'll do another one. We will just poke this through like that. Grab those, and they have a couple of little tags as well in the back of the book. Oh, I love it! Absolutely <coughs> love it, love it, love it. I think it's very charming. <coughs> so, what do we think to this lovely little book that we have made? And I've still got lots of lovely bits left over that I can still do maybe another another book maybe you know that was very super easy <coughs> i could probably do another one because we've got another one of these birds but oh, i love this little pull out as well what do we think do we like it how super quick was that as well <coughs> but i hope you enjoyed it i hope that's give you some inspiration to use up some of your pads. Angie Wally asked again what the name of the pad was and it's Crolando. Crolando is the name um, and it's just called Sweet and it's patterned paper so you've got, I can actually make a few books out of this because you've got the cookery one as well, the cute cupcakes one. So I'll do two. I'll do a cupcake one and I will do the birdie one. And I'll let you know how I get on. But um, I just love it. So thank you so much, Julie Turner. Um, look how gorgeous this is. I love this little book. Oh, love it. Love it, love it, love it. So what do you think? If you like it, please give me hearts. And um, I am going to go now. But thank you so much for putting up with me today. This is my third visit back. Really stunning book. Wonderful. Oh. Bless you, thank you. So I'm late, was walking the dog. Your book is lovely. Oh, thank you. Well, I've got lovely papers to work with, didn't I? 
um, but I will make another couple of those. See, I've got another bird here, look. So I can actually do another one. And I've got some more papers here. So I do actually have enough to make another birdie book and two of the um, cookery books. So I'll take some pictures when I'm finished. Thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you all soon. Have a lovely Easter and take care. All right. Love you guys. Bye.